what's up giants fans hub watchers youtube subscribers twitter and instagram followers it's kush back at again with another new york giants video before we get into it though let's give a shout out to the channel sponsor symbol um symbol you guys know they've been with me since i want to say around november uh stock market for sports not just the nfl you also got the nba nhl college football and mlb as well and for a guy that's a giants fan they were the only team i invested in it was definitely a mistake you know while i'm talking of course i'm gonna have thrown up i guess my symbol portfolio so you guys can see what's going on and i'm also you know gonna scroll through a couple of the leagues biggest gainers biggest losers of the week but the first thing i gotta tell y'all is that you don't lose with symbol even though the giants have been one of the worst teams in the nfl and it's been reflected in their symbol portfolio their stock has gone down you know quite a bit since what i initially bought them as you could see it on the graph as well it's just been pure downtrend, just pure decline i'm still making money as crazy as that sounds i'm still on a ten dollar profit from when i bought in which is kind of goes to show you you don't really lose with symbol even if the stock goes on you're always making money and of course with the code the hub you have a money back guarantee of up to $500 on your investment in whatever team you go to, whatever league you go to with a free account. Make that deposit. Use that promo code. No matter what happens, up to $500, you're protected. You could get all of your money back. Use your knowledge. Buy low, sell high, earn cash payouts when your team wins. And join more than 8,000 early adopters who have started to invest in their favorite teams. Go over right now, guys, to www.symbol.com. Your what up giants fans hub watchers youtube subscribers rumble subscribers twitter and instagram followers it's kush back at again with another new york giants video these are getting really really painful to make <laughs> you guys saw my reaction video yesterday i think it's probably the shortest video i ever made in my entire life it was 56 seconds long it was a clip of me just my live reaction when I found out that the Giants finished the game with negative 10 passing yards. We made NFL history, guys. That's never been done before in the history of the NFL where you finish with negative yardage in passing. And we finished with negative 10. You know what that means? That means that me and you and everybody sitting at home had more passing yards than the players that played on the Giants on Sunday. Because we had zero. And they had negative 10. Absolutely ridiculous, man. This team really just, I, I'm getting tired with it. I'm not going to lie to you. And it looks like even our head coach, Joe Judge, is getting tired with it as well. Because in his press conference after the game, before reporters were allowed to ask anything, this man went on a 10 or maybe 11 minute rant about anything and everything. Now, we're, we're all told or we're all led to believe heavily that Joe Judge's job is safe and he will be back next year. But a 10-minute rant and what he was talking about doesn't sound like a guy that thinks his job is safe. It sounds like a guy that's publicly pleading for help. <laughs> it sounds like somebody that's like trying to rationalize all the decisions he's made, trying to save face, trying to show that the team isn't as bad as it is. It, I don't know, man. It's kind of ridiculous. It just doesn't sound like a guy whose job is safe to me. And I have a couple of specific quotes here. But like when he he started off, he's talking about, I don't ask from patience from anybody. Let's get that clear right now. All right. And the fans have every right to an opinion. That's why they're fans. And we're going to show our opinion. I'm going to be at week 18 this coming Sunday. If you all are going to be there, let me know. Drop a comment down below. Let's meet up. Let's have a nice time in the parking lot. The only good part of this game, I can tell you all already, is going to be hanging out in the parking lot of MetLife Stadium. It's unfortunate, but that's where we are. He goes on to say they have every right. You buy a ticket, come to the stadium. You have every right to boo me going out of the stadium. That's what we sign up for, right? And it's New York. It's supposed to be a tough place to be. Certain cities in the country don't even know if their team is playing today, all right? And this is just the start, you know, one of many shots that he takes at, like, several NFL teams, organizations, you know, several coaches for some reason. Once again, it, just sound, it doesn't sound like a guy whose job is safe because why are you taking shots at other people man this is about you and your team not about them and their team ridiculous but i mean you know what judge you right you're not buying any points with me but you're right yeah i'm absolutely gonna boo you out the stadium next week 
I absolutely have every right to do that. Even sitting at home watching you on TV or on a stream or something, we all got the right to boo you. And once again, if y'all going to be there at week 18, it's going to be your last chance to sort of get your thoughts out in person with anybody of the Giants organization. We all know they run out at around 1245 to practice before the game or warm up. As long as you win there, sometimes the Maras are there. Sometimes Gettleman is there. Those are the two, you know, Judge is obviously going to be there. Maybe Steve Tisch. Those are the main guys you're going to want to get your thoughts out to. It's not like you're going to be having a conversation with them, but you definitely could stay there um, in the bleachers and yell your heart out <laughs> and let them know what you think because uh, ain't much else we could do. Um, more quotes here. Oh, man, this was some sort of press conference. I really recommend you guys go watch it. Uh, he says, this ain't a team that's having fist fights on the sideline. This isn't a clown show organization or something else, okay? Now, this, for those of you that don't know, I was saying he takes more shots at other NFL teams and coaches. This was a direct shot at the Washington football team. When they played Dallas, I don't know if it was this past week or the week before, but when they played Dallas, uh, there was a fight between Deron Payne and Johnson Allen, I think. So he's saying, hey, at least we don't have infighting. I mean, at least Washington is winning more than us. Like, what do you want me to say in response to that, Judge? And then he takes a shot at Pat Shermer as well. He's like, when I came in here and I sat down with all the players, I want to know what it was like here. What we had to change from their mouths. To a man, every player looked me in the eye and said, Joe, it's not a team. They don't play hard. We're out the playoffs. Everybody quit. Everybody tapped. They stopped showing up to captain's meetings. All that stuff, right? They tapped out, okay? I'll tell you right now. If you're in the damn building, you walk through our locker room, you ain't seeing the crap that you saw before I arrived, all right? You ain't seeing guys planning vacations. You ain't seeing golf clubs in front of players' lockers. You ain't seeing that stuff, okay? You ain't seeing it, all right? And that's not because of some high school program, because we're cracking the whip. Yo, drinking game. Take a shot every time Joe Judge says, okay, or all right. You're going to die of alcohol poisoning by the end of the press conference. But... It, like once again right it seems like he's just trying to rationalize to himself why he should keep his job and i guess credit to you bro judge if you don't see golf clubs if you're not seeing these players playing their vacation but these players are tapped out man i don't know what to tell you they might not show in the locker room but i'd say ever since week 12 or week 13 this team ain't been playing as hard as it should be playing and that's not even necessarily their fault. You, you know what? Yes, it is partly their fault, but it's also partly because of all the injuries. And of course, most of it, in my opinion, should go on the coaching staff. There's so many things. This is not the video to discuss what's wrong with the Giants, where blame lies, because it's not on one particular person or party. But we literally had another boat pitcher. And I, I don't really care about it because it's not like we're in the playoffs to have a repeat of the famous Giants boat pitcher. But for those of you that don't know on Instagram, you know, it was Dan uh, Daniel Jones, Darius Slayton, uh, Sterling Shepard, a couple of the wide receivers. I think there may have been a tight end in there. They basically post for another boat pitcher. Judge, they're already on vacation. The reason you ain't saying them planning it is because they're already on it. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. And if you watch this T week in, week out, you know that they're gone. Like, come on now. And there's no use taking a shot at your predecessor. I'll say this. In the first year, it really did look like there was a culture change. And I'm not behind the scenes. You're not behind the scenes. Maybe there still is that change there. But it certainly does not seem like it. And that's what Judge goes on to talk about. He says the toughest thing to change in a team, the toughest thing to change in a club is the way people think. You understand that? You could get new players in here. You got to change how he, then he curses. Then he says, pardon my, how they believe in what they're doing which is why I don't come up here and try to assassinate some player because I think it's going to save my ass. And and that is something I will genuinely, without any, you know, backhanded shot, uh, without any passive aggressiveness, straight up, I do give Joe Judge credit for that. I mean, I much prefer him doing these corny press conferences with the same lines over and over again versus him going up there and bashing his players because um, I, I think that's the worst thing a coach could do. At the end of the day, it is the coach's job, which is why I put most of the blame on the way we've been coached this season so like i'm gonna give credit but it's not something that i should give credit for like if you're a head coach it's part of your job to take the blame it's part of your job to figure out what's wrong and what's going on you know what i mean but listen guys this these are just barely few quotes from what was a 10 minute rant after the game from joe judge the way this man was talking i don't know if his job is safe because we're led to believe that it is and if we're led to believe that you would think that means he's led to believe that. 
I'm starting to have second thoughts, which is something I'm not necessarily excited about, but I guess I'm looking forward to a little bit because I'm at the point where I think a clean sweep is what we need. I wouldn't be completely mad at like some people, a lot of people would be like in like just completely incensed. Is that the word? I don't know what the word is, but some people would be completely enraged if Judge was back. I wouldn't necessarily be enraged. I'd be like, all right, it's it's your roster anyway. Work, you know, work what you could work and let's get it going. But if we get a clean sweep, I'm definitely welcoming that. And this is giving me a second thought towards that. You, you know, a guy whose job is safe is not talking like this in a press conference. But you drop your thoughts and comments down below. Let me know what you all think. Like, share, subscribe, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.